flying by Sarah Arvio once said to me tonight, or was it day, or was it the passage between the two? It's hard to remember, crossing time zones, the structure of the hours you left behind. Are they sleeping, or are they eating sweets? And are they wanting me to phone them now? In the face of technological fact, even the most seasoned traveler feels the baffled sense that nowhere else exists. It's a moving resistance of the air as you hurdle too fast against the hours that stuns the cells and tissues of the brain. The dry cabin air, the cramped rows of seats, the steward passing pillows, pouring drinks, and the sudden ridges of turbulence. Oh yes, the crossing is always a trial. Despite precautions, drink water, don't smoke, and take measured doses of midday sun. Whether an ordinary business flight, or a prayer at a pleasure altar, for moments or hours, the earth out of sight. The white cumuli dreaming there below, warm fronts and cold fronts streaming through the sky, the mesmerizing rose and purple glow. So did you leave your home a concert cure? Did you leave a life? Did you leave a love? Are you out here looking for another? Some want so much to cross, to go away, somewhere, anywhere, and begin again. Others can't endure the separation. One night, the skyline as I left New York was a garden of neon flower bursts. The celebration of a history.